we don't have to shut this place down. Ever since that drought hit, everything just dried up. There's nowhere else to get whiskey if you close the place down, Willie. Well, you can get the cheap whiskey. I gotta go on a two days ride. Where are you boys riding in from? You just call us boys, Mondo? Sure did, Bill. Wait, none of your goddamn business. Where are we riding in from? This is old man. You're right. It ain't none of my business. I just trying to make some friendly conversation. Friendly conversation. Did you hear that, Mondo? This nice old man just said the magic words. I said we oblige him, and the three of us partake in a little friendly conversation. You heard him? He said three, not five. <laughs> smell of a fresh gunshot. Do you agree, old man? <laughs> I never thought of it that way. That's what you call rock gut whiskey right there, old man. You trying to kill us? I'm just doing what I can trying to keep this place going. Do you own this place, old man? Well, yeah. How long have you been living in this hell hole town? I just grew up down the road a ways. This town is all you know, ain't it, old man? Hey, Mondo, why don't you run out and grab us one of those fine whiskey bottles? Sure thing, Bill. Why are you out there? Why don't you bring us a bag of the pretty things we got from that little old Yankee lady on the train? You got it, Bill. It's amazing how many friends I make when I'm holding my steel friend here. Sometimes people just start handing me things if I look at them just right. Tell me, you like shooting guns, old man? Not particularly. I, I just run the bar around here. Do you know what this firearm is? No. Uh, this is an 1851 Navy coat. Do you have any idea who carried this? No. No. Uh, that General Robert E. Lee in that carpet bagging Yankee some bitch Ulysses S. Grant. They, they both held it by their side every day like a little old baby blanket. I, I never knew that. No? And you know those soldiers out there? They was both shooting each other up with the same gun made by the same gun maker on both sides of the wall. Ain't that right, Mondo? Sure is, Bill. You ever seen someone get shot with one of these, old man? No, never have. I never seen that. It is a sight to see. I say I saw a boy get shot through the forehead of one of these, and I swear I saw his eyeballs dangling out the back of his skull. But now, we are just getting to the good part of our friendly conversation. It's time for you to use your head, old man. It's time for you to think a little bit. Do you know who has this crazy war all figured out? Hey. It's the gun makers, you see. They getting rich selling to both sides. Ain't that right, Mondo? Sure is, Bill. Have you ever heard of the saying, war is good for business? I, I ain't never heard that before. Uh, they never have to worry about looking down the barrel of a loaded gun. I guess you're right. They are missing out on all of the fun. Excuse me. Something about holding this little steel beauty, it just it makes me feel all warm inside. It makes me feel alive. Tell me, do you feel alive, old man? You ain't close enough to feel it, old man. You got to grip that cold steel in your hand. I don't want no trouble here. Why don't you spin the cartridge a bit and warm her up? I ain't the gun shooting time. Spin the cartridge and warm it up. Okay, I'll spin it. I'll spin it. I just want to close up and go home. Nah, you 
No, you're the one who wanted some friendly conversation. So we're gonna take our friendly conversation to the next level. Ain't that right, Mondo? It always gets better at the next level, Bill. I'm gonna need you to point that at your head. Excuse me. Yeah. I, I said point it at your head, old man, and I do not like having to repeat myself. Now it's warming up, old man. You feel it? Feel alive? You see, when the gun makers, when they finished building that gun, they put it away in a nice shining box and they sent it off. They forgot about it. They had no idea that it would be right here pointed at your head. Just like I said, they had no idea the fun they was going to be missing out on. Should we take this conversation to the top, Mondo? I think so, Bill. I'm gonna need you to pull that trigger now. I'm gonna need you to pull that trigger now, old man. I do not like having to repeat myself. I can't do it. You gotta shoot me first. Shooting you straight up ain't no fun, old man. Let me show you how it's done. Try it again, old man. Put it up to your head. Feel your heart beating. Feel it beating faster and faster. Feel yourself living. Feel alive. Now go ahead. I'll count it down with you. I will help you. One, two, three. Oh, oh, did you see that? I sure did. <laughs> Blanks. Say what? Blanks. You didn't think I was going to make you blow your brains out all over this fine establishment, did you? I did, I really did. You I felt did. It. I felt it. You felt alive, didn't you? Yeah. I, I felt it. I felt it. That's all I was going for. Hey, Mondo, why don't you give the old man that fine bottle of whiskey and that bag of pretty things we got from that little old Yankee lady on the train? Take a look, old man. I think you could use it more than we can. You've earned it, old man. I heard there was some trouble brewing in here. These men giving you a problem, Willie? Everything's just fine, Sheriff. I believe these boys, I mean, nice young men, just about ready to head out. Beautiful day, ain't it, Sheriff? It is a good day to be alive. Sheriff, drinks are on the house. The grape shot and musket and the cannons lumber loud. It's many a mangled body. The blanket for the shroud. It's many a mangled body left on the fields alone. I am a rebel soul.